What is going on garden fans? Welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. I am at the home site today. I wanted to give you a really quick look about the whole food forest. We are in zone eight, South Carolina and are about to hit our last frost tonight and it is gonna be a cold one. Should be dipping down into the 20s. So I wanted to show you some things today that you may not see in next week's tour because of this late frost that may kill everything. Uh, first thing I wanna to touch on is my vegetable gardening. Now all the fall veggies, kale, collards, parsley, things like that are actually going to seed. And as these continue to seed out, I will let them seed and I will pull them up early and start planting in my spring vegetables here. I have some early winter things growing right next to that patch. We have peas, sweet pea in the back. Right in front of that is spinach. And then right in front of that is gonna be carrots, chamomile, and a nice little border flower growing here. And I'm going to continue to kind of successionally grow here, plot by plot, throughout the food forest. I have another veggie plot set up right here on the back of the house. This is a zone one area. And currently we have things like lettuce coming up. We have another row of sweet pea in the back, more chamomile, and more parsley that has been planted to kind of replace uh, the stuff that's dying. Also in here I have kale and collards. So every two weeks I'm going to clean an area out seed it out and I'm going to continue to be doing that as we go throughout this early spring and into summer. Uh, the next veggie plot I'm going to be working on is right over here. Going to kind of clean a spot there, uh, mulch it up, put some compost on top, mulch it up, lasagna la style layering, and then grow right into it. Now the whole food forest looks really green right now. I'm getting all types of annual weeds and herbs coming up that I can feed to my chickens. Um, there's a lot of green stuff growing. Things like the elderberry won't be affected by a late frost, but the flowering pawpaws may be affected. We will see next week. Uh, right now I have two giant patches of pawpaw trees that are flowering right now. And I am doing my part just like every other year, the past couple years to come out here and hand pollinate these flowers. I've gotten a much better fruit set once I started hand pollinating these. Um, but here they are, two giant patches of pawpaw trees, very slowly becoming the dominant species here in my backyard, especially as I continue to prune down the peach trees that don't really grow well here. Um, everything is companion planted. Here is a nitrogen fixing gumi berry uh, right off that patch of pawpaws, kind of feeding them up. Down the line here, we have a cut down peach, another pawpaw, and then we have a jujube right here, towering up about 20 feet. There is a nitrogen fixing gumi, and then right next to this uh, jujube, we have a mulberry tree that is absolutely loaded down with fruit. This entire mulberry tree is loaded with fruit. And I'm really hoping that, uh, since the weather people are generally always wrong anyway. I'm hoping it stays a little warm tonight and these this fruit set will not be affected. Especially if you can stay kind of windy, I think we'll be all right. Um, other things that have happened within the past week, my plum trees have flowered and are now putting on some green growth. That may look different in a week, we'll find out. And there's a lot of things that are breaking dormancy, like my figs here. This is a brown turkey fig. And we have another black mission fig over here that is also breaking dormancy. So there's a lot of things going on, a lot of life happening. Uh, the animals are super happy that we got all these extra greens uh, out in the food forest. It certainly means more food for them. The rabbit tractor job is doing a great job. She's cleaning the area here while I'll be planting vegetables in the next few weeks. So things are starting to come along. The food forest is really looking like a forest. And uh, I just hope that we can get through this late frost that we're having here, or really it's a right on time frost since it's our last scheduled frost date. Anyway, garden fans, I appreciate y'all stopping back and uh, checking out my food forest here. Like I said, the place is really kind of turning into a secret garden here in the suburbs. It's full of green, and if you're not already, please subscribe so you can watch how this place blows up this year. Please like this video, give it a thumbs up. That's what really helps us out. And if you got any questions about permaculture or this place in general, just ask. We love you. God bless.